we're in the last phase uh, before the power backing starts uh, middle of September. Now we have the blister tank installed around the bow of the uh, Concordia. So that's very important to protect the bow and the whole forward section of the ship through the power buckling action. So it's like holding the neck of a patient that's got a spinal injury. And as you roll the patient over, then you have to hold and stabilize the neck. So that's exactly the same as what the bow blister is going to do to the Concordia. So we've done all the testing on the inshore strain jacks on the towers, the Fagioli towers. They've all been taken up to their design load. And now we're present with the offshore, the Sponson strand jacks, which go to the outboard side of the platforms where she's going to lie on the seabed when she's brought upright. So that should finish by tomorrow night. And then uh, the only thing thereafter is the final uh, tweaking of all the controls and ballast control systems. It's the communication between the uh, control room itself through the umbilicals to the, um, the, the actuators that control the valves open and closed and that will be controlling the sponsons as they enter the water to allow them to slowly be ballasted as the sponsons come into the water and slowly pull the uh, Concordia onto the platform. So the main phase on the day itself is we pre-tension about 12 hours before to about 30% of the design load and the design load is uh, we have a, a little window, one is optimistic, one is conservative so we'll go for the uh, most optimistic one as start off and slowly work our way to the uh, conservative one and that depends on the weight assumptions and the actual weight of the Concordia and how much the rocks have penetrated into her. So once we get her off the, uh, the bedrock itself then all the load is transferred to the starboard turn of the bulge and that's very critical because that's where most of the pressure is exerted over a very small section of the ship and uh, we put doubler plates, 44 millimeter doubler plates all around that section so we transfer the load from the turn of the bilge into the side shell and the keel itself. Uh, once we get through the first 20 degrees then the strand jack loads start dropping off and that's when the sponsons have entered the water uh, on the offshore side and then gravity starts taking over at about 38 degrees from upright. Uh, as gravity takes over more and more of the sponsons enter the water and that provides buoyancy which actually gives us a control. So we have the capability to actually stop her entering or descending by just keeping the buoyancy inside the sponsons. But the objective is to keep the operation as smooth as possible and as continuous as possible so that we slowly ballast the uh, sponsons one by one and then we stop her about a meter above the platform. And that's after about eight to 10 hours of the operation. Once everything's been double checked, then we'll slowly uh, ballast the last of the sponsons and bring her gently down onto the platform and they should complete the power bucking operation itself. So if we start just shortly after the morning ferry at 6.30, by late afternoon, four or five o'clock, sunset, it's all over, and she's safely rested on the uh, platforms and the bed of uh, the grout mattress that we prepared for her.